Hello and welcome everybody, it's Happy Player, and today I got something really cool for you. I got the update of Sonic's Unbelievable Shaders for Minecraft 151, you heard right. It only works with 151 as I've tested it, it doesn't work with the 15 only, or oh, try that, but it didn't work. So you have to download your uh, newest version of Minecraft first. So, what I want you to do first is to download all of these four files linked in the description. First of all, that is Optifine 151 HD Ultra A8, which can be obtained by going to the web page of Optifine, which is optifine.net slash downloads.php. And then you'll click on the download link behind Optifine 151, that version that I just said released on the 22nd of March. After you have downloaded that version, also download the Sonic Unbelievable Shaders files, which are in here in the Shaders folder. I want you to download the Shader Pack, which is a new function of our Coronix GLSL mod, and the Shader Mod by GLSL mod, well, the GLSL mod itself by Coronix. After you got all of the files, we can continue. First of all, I want you to make sure that you have a clean version of Minecraft. If you want to make sure that you have a clean version of Minecraft, just click on the md5s file, select the minecraft.jar file and the version.jar file and delete all of those. After that, double click the minecraft.exe, log in and it should download a complete new version of Minecraft, including all the files required to run Minecraft. And now that's going to take a while to download all of these files. There we go. Minecraft starts and will hopefully be in default. If not, that would be weird. There we go. Just going to quickly join a single player world. As you can see, it's all in default. Pretty ugly, as always. Going to quit that. There we go. Next, what you want to do is open the Minecraft.jar with WinRAR, WinSip, 7SIP, whatever you've got. First of all, what you have to do is delete the meta in file, as always. You should know that by now. If you have that, go back to the uh, mods that you just downloaded from the description and open the Optifine zip file. So, now let's open the Minecraft as well. Drag and drop all of the files from Optifine to your Minecraft.jar, which is like that. Don't drag and drop them over a folder, drop them over the files itself, otherwise it's going to move into a folder which we don't want. Now, uh, just hit OK here, nothing to do. Close the Optifine archive, we don't need that anymore. Now double click the shaders mod by Coronix, double click there. As always, Control A to select all of the files, drag and drop these as well into the Minecraft jar. Bam, there we go. As well notice, this doesn't have any shaders inside, that's why I provided the CSR 10 RC7 version, which does have the files inside. So what you want to do now is you can just basically drag and drop the shaders folder in here and we will overwrite the containing shaders folder in Minecraft jar. Four, yeah, that was it. So you can close the Minecraft jar file. After that, there's one more thing to do. It's uh, not required, but it's optional. It's a pretty cool feature actually. Since the newer versions of Coronix, more GLSL shaders, you have a shader pack in your .minecraft folder which allows you to switch between shader packs. At first, you have an internal version of the shaders which are in the Minecraft.jar file, and then you can place as many zip files containing shader folders with file inside of this shader pack, and you can switch between the shader versions if you want to in-game. That is really cool. So what you want to do is drag and drop the shader packs folder into your Minecraft uh, folder. There we go. I already had it, so I'm just going to replace everything. There we go. And after that, you can basically start up your Minecraft. Double click the Minecraft exit, click lock in, and it should work just fine. Mojang logo, so so far so good. No black screen. There we go. Go in a single player world. Bam! We have shaders. Look at that. There's my shadow. Just to make sure that I'm right, 151 Minecraft version. I look at my FPS, that's incredible. 130 FPS. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, and now, as you will notice, if we click on Escape, go to Options, you have a new button called Shaders. Now click that, 
and you can see you've got three different uh, options that you can choose right now. You've got none, and you can see in the background that it just changed to no shaders at all. My FPS has gone up uh, immediately. Uh, but we don't want that. We can switch between internal shaders, which are the shaders inside of the Minecraft jar, or the movie shaders, which is the uh, file I provided in the shader packs folder, this one, the zip file. So as you can see, um, this one, for example, got um, it got rays, sun rays. The internal doesn't have that, and also got a bit brighter colors for nice looking cinematics if you want to. So uh, yeah, that's been it. I hope I could help you. If you got any questions, you're free to ask them in the comments. As always, I hope you can help you. If not, then there's always the Facebook page of Sun Example Real Shaders, which I'm also going to link in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like, please rate and subscribe. And uh, I hope you have a good time with Sonic Sun Bolivia Shaders. Have a nice day. Goodbye.